Hey guys, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing well. A little bit of a different video today. So this channel, obviously, we break down Call of Duty all the time. Normally, it's from my perspective, what I see, why teams are doing what they're doing, just to try to get a better understanding of the game out there. But Optic actually went back and rewatched that map five search and destroy against Atlanta, and they had a discussion about it. So I figured we might switch it up just a tiny bit, and let's react to what they're saying about that match because there are some things in here that based on what they say throughout this is a little bit different than what we previously thought so formal envoy dashy scum the whole gang is in here watching these rounds so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna bring it up let's watch the rounds and let's talk about things that are interesting and of importance so let's press play this is our first round yeah. here yeah. trying to make it a week both get first let's go i'm down for that yo she's a mute out Dude, you scared me when you. I heard a random voice. Brandon literally looked at me. I looked at Brandon. I was like, "Who the fuck is that?" Bro, I thought like. Oh, dude, got, I, you I got dragged another full. realm or some shit. Dude, I almost lost <laughs> full first round here. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it. Dude, I've really never gotten this like scenario. Wow, if I hit him one more. Yeah, what? Oh my god. Because Cell was shooting at me from the tank. Oh, okay, never mind. Defensively, but it looks like Cell is trying to find that angle. It's and I was here, I was like, dude, what the? Where the oh, fuck this is a cred. And it's just when are they gonna go? When are they going to go and sell him? That guy was one shot so too. To kill, he does it again. Actually, I over chowed in the 1v2 versus Cell. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what you're talking about. Dude gets in some mixy ass situation. Right here, I'm like, Dude, 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 <laughs> so it's actually kind of interesting to hear him talk about what Envoy was doing there, but just like so often, we see it all the time. If he gets that first kill on a BZ and he's able to finish that kill on Celium, he's able to put them in a 4v2 situation and they have an opportunity to win the round. That's just, that's the type of stuff that Envoy does. And he wasn't able to finish those kills. Maybe nerves were a little bit out there during that first round, but still, you can see how he affects what Optic's trying to do. I'm like, what? I'm like, bro, my red. I said, what? Dude, I was mind blown. Dude, sell it. He's so pissed. I come back and help you, I think. Yeah, you do. You play this shit perfect, bro. Look at the map now. We have everything. Look at our arrows. <laughs> oh my god, we have everything. Yeah, we have the, the map on lockdown. Oh, dude, and then you slide away here? Yeah, match. Yeah, yeah per dude. perfect time. I'm like, I, this guy's putting on for me. I gotta sprint to this guy. <laughs> I gotta go help him, dog. Yeah, and, and the biggest thing that I took away from that round, obviously that round was insane, but just the fact that that wasn't like a called hit, right? You could hear their reactions right there. Like Dashy was like, wait, he's already that far pushed up. I'm just watching back alley. How's he already over there? That was Envoy just running mid. There was nobody there. He hit back through that back brown building and he just continued on his route. So that's just one of those things where you have a player like Envoy, you can very easily win a round just based off of his skill set and what he sees. Tracked across me, yeah, yeah. what are you gonna help? He's like, what the hell? He said, oh, what's L? Oh, we played. Oh, this is exactly what I want to do to sell too. I just wanted to nade his bitch ass. Oh, yeah, you guys yeah, hit him with the arc clock. Look at him, look at him, look at him. He screamed, he was one shot, and then two indicators guys, on both sides. Yeah, right? Yo, where are you gonna go? <laughs> Put him in a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was so gassed when you did that. I was like, put him in a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, put him in a sandwich. Oh, shit. That's a great team nade, by the way. I was saying that those were like Arklov nades last year. We had some godlike Arklov nades last year. Yeah, you shot five into trench. Someone's getting a kill. Yeah, we, uh, we would Someone always get kills. Kill. Someone's getting a kill, dude. He's just putting shots in everybody. He has put shots in. Right, that, was, that was a really nice way to clear a cube, though. Keep that. Guarantees only. Yeah, that's what, that that's what happened to me. That's what happened to me. You said fuck that. Huge favor there away. BZ will chow out. The melee comes in and Optic Chicago will go back. Yeah, to the I was like, it gets mixed. They're, they're, 
again, that's another round where they have to get that A site as they're on offense, and they just rely on Envoy to push forward and clear out cube, get that map positioning, and then once they're there, they're able to overtake the site, get bombed down. I know it didn't get that far in that round, but again, two rounds in a row where Envoy just kind of takes over, gets map control, and wins a round. Matt, that one round, I was mind blown. Dude, same. Yeah, I actually almost killed us both in the fence. He's playing with, with some real confidence. Like he, oh, he yeah. is. Like he's, oh, yeah. he's taking gunfights. He's challenging. You know, simping up easy. Going on to the next fight. His team. Yeah, we talked about that. It would have been up. so much better. And this is another yeah, quick so much round dropping. Three players towards the back alley. The Atlanta phase are ready for it. What happens? Is this the round where Cell goes big and red? Why? Because they have to hide, bro. No, no, no. no. Yeah, RC spots one or one or two. Oh yeah, this is. Quickly. I think I kill Alec top red. Of course, it's Envoy surging his way. I got in a P2 window and I was like, wait, this team doesn't really see shit. Hey, yeah, you think you can get like a kill on bomb or something? Yeah, I was like, I was just thinking I was going to kill someone like Zach with oh, the pants so down. That's why, like, bro. You killed oh, the guy dude, I thought was going to push me out. What the fuck, dude? The guy, the guy was top red, so I was like, trying to go so he wouldn't kill me. He's feeling himself. Let, let him chill that. And like, you were on the other side. Yeah, I'm not calling you up on anything bro. Sure, bro. Well, I mean, I was like, I was like, I was like, do whatever you want, bro. Yeah, but this guy, we knew this guy was like red, bro. Like, I didn't want to die. Nah, yeah, like at least help you get the guy weak. Really fast... That round right there is literally just all comes down to strategy, right? Optic off the rip decided to hit through gas, thinking that maybe they could get a pick, they could get through that right side of the map. And as they were trying to get through gas, Atlanta just took bomb and went over towards A. They got bombed down immediately. There's nothing you can do, right? Unless you wrap back, you're able to get a pick, overtake that bomb site. That's all super tough to do, especially with somebody watching mid map. So. Just bad luck there in terms of what strategy they were trying to execute. <laughs> He's like, bro, I got to make sure I get flanked again like this. I'll be checked out. See, this is... Is this when we kill Aiden Blue again? Or no, this is when I kill Aiden on pinch, I'm pretty sure. That would be the best case for them. But I don't know if that's fine. I mean, even right there, right? I, to me, that kind of is a switch of tempo of... Uh, BZ and Simp wanted to take a, a gunfight. They do back on stalemate up. round. In case there was a hard counter there, but they wanted to try to get him involved. He's been in, in a tough role. They've been executing around the courtyard. He's just kind of shouldering back and forth inside of Delhi. Hey, K Switch, thank you so much for the fiver, brother. Welcome to the five new subs from K Switch. Appreciate that, doggy. Let's go. So yeah, I get good timing on Ape here. Yeah, maybe something. And then and then I see Simp and then I see Simp right there. Start at one six. Yeah, that's such a good bait. Oh, Holy nice, shit. nice. I mean, that you know, play right there, that play was insane. So, Skump, as he said, he just got timing on a BZ as he was trying to go across, and he saw Simp at the very last second. So, he knew he was there. So, since Envoy was behind him, he elected to just jump across that doorway. You know that Simp is going to follow, and as soon as his ADS followed Skump, he was able to trade that out. That's just a, that's a great play overall. We need these guns, we're broke. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are over challenged. Yeah, we need these guns for next round. Oh, you didn't kill like that. <laughs> That's funny right there. Uh, Dash, he's talking about we need these guns because we're in a 4v1. They've been playing a lot of Valorant on stream, so that's where that came from. But, yeah, that's just that round right there. Basically, the beginning of that round, almost all of that round in that entirety is made by Scum. Being able to get that first blood on a BZ, knowing that Simp was behind him, calling it out. Doing a trade, I mean, that was just a great bait and switch there. Not ready for it. So the awareness to recognize he may follow him up. I spotted him. I'm gonna try to bait him in with, with my slides and yeah, they, they keep. The you think Valorant's actually helping us? Yeah, it's helping me. I'm not <laughs> even trolling. I'm not even trolling, it bro. It's, it's helping, helping me. It's helping me a lot. Shit, Seriously. I mean, I don't have my Reina flash. <laughs> you said I just fucking throw that little eye on swing. You double throw him in the wolf. <laughs> I'm not just playing his life. He's running down minutes. He might be capping on Dude, everything is good just timing right now, dude. Everything's going your way. <laughs> Literally, what the dude, hell? Dude, he's running that little L area. Wait, you guys are telling me like none of this shit? You're like, wait. Oh yeah, I was like, yo, none of that shit. I was like, none of that shit, bro. I was like, all right, well, I'm just gonna go find him this way, dude. Nah, that was fun, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna take a one-on-one. Follow me up. Like that's. I'm just holding an iron bottom brown. I'm making sure. I just want. I just want someone to give him shit. Yeah, I want to get like a free kill for real. I'm like, I'm like, I have a cross. I'm not doing anything. 
another round right there that's made by Envoy. And you actually heard Skump, I believe it was formal too, just talking about how everything is going his way. He very easily could have ran down mid right behind that truck, could have got naded, could have got team shot, could have got killed from Selium who was up top, but they just didn't happen to be looking that way. He sneaks through, he gets a first blood, Dashy gets the second, Envoy's able to get the third. It was Arcity still in that L area of the map. And then he pushes through and he gets the kill on Selium. Dylan, you want to talk about it a little, maybe? Dude, I mean, I stand, but I always forget this is a spot, this. dude. It's just it's so ratty. What? As this year has gone out. We'll see. I think he's done a little of both. Like, when he finds that gap up mid and plays Oh, he himself, saw us. Like, that's why. Oh, yeah, he kind of did. Like Grandma's roof right there? Yeah, yeah. That's why. Yeah, that's why. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, up the middle of the Friday. He's hoping to take the one-on-one, though. Nice. That's not like him finding a route behind. Oh, the guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice round. What the fuck did you get there? Yeah, I'm coming over half wall. <laughs> I, tried yeah, so, a, yeah, I tried to make a split B play. Honestly, I like the aggression there. I like the fact that they hit through that gas flank super quick. But as they were rounding that corner, you heard him say that Selium saw him. So you don't expect somebody to just be sitting in the back of their spawn like that. But Selium was top grandmas. He was able to see him come around gas. So he flanks back through, back to his spawn. He's able to get that kill on Envoy, and then Skump dies also. So had Selium not seen them, that could have been a totally different round. But good play out of Sel. Yep. You have to know that they're going to be ready for the, these kinds of things. You show them maybe a couple of different looks. Yo, yeah, Dill, you have my help? Too, when I, fucking... Envoy and Scott I got naded, bro. Yo, Dill, you here? Oh. Time, though, able to catch so finally, for a BZ, I shouldn't have played that corner, though. That was on me. On you, I already figured out what I want to do to counter that. Yeah, that was a quick round. What the? Those were two quick rounds. Yeah, you heard Scump right there. Like, hey, Dill, you got my help? You, you got my trades? I think Envoy was just in a compromised situation, right? He couldn't really push. There's no way. So Abizi's one shot right there, but there's no way that Envoy could slide around that corner and trade that because if he does, he's going to get shot. He was weak. Before he could even get around that corner, he would have died from an AR. So unfortunate. Scump probably should have backed off and played together with Envoy, but when you're trapped in that front corner, that's tough. Yeah, like literally everyone right? <laughs> Fuck you guys want All of them just fucking ego chow. Like, I mean, you guys are pussies, it's, Dude, they're playing too scared. Dude, yeah. everyone plays I mean, cube. <laughs> I, I know the real you guys. You guys, are not, <laughs> no you guys aren't chowing like that. Everyone plays cube, bro. We use teamwork. We all line up and get three pieces on the mar. Like, all right, fuck teamwork then. Fuck yeah, that. they're like, yo, look how you guys have to play. Like, to nice win, teamwork though. optic. Yeah, look, you, you guys have to play like that to win. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're gonna line up, morons. Yeah. Dumbass. We chow too much too. Do you guys want to use a lick of teamwork? <laughs> Just a lick of it. For now. You're good to go. I'll be back with good two theory or so. <laughs> yeah, this was so big, dude. This was the whole map right here. It's two v three. Oh wait, yeah, we. We were massive, undeniable right here. We do was massive. Oh, it was big. 4-4? Four, four? I remember how I died. I think I die. I think I go in the L and he peeks. He peeks. He peeks. He kind of those entry guys. It looks like Simp has a very good read on this. He's starting to get pushed up in the bottom. Brown. I yeah, I just find someone right here. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, wait, Alex L? I thought it was going to be Simp. This is huge. Oh, That's a great yeah, pick that there from Dashy. Dude, you guys are in such a mixy. Oh, this right was here. so mixy. <laughs> Dude, I almost get caught like sprinting for a second because Alec just like re slides out. This was so I mean, he this had to, but. This is a good ass bait by him, though. Yeah, that was. Jumping off the A-stack like that? Yeah, that was. Look at this. Look at this. Dude, this is so mixy. Look at this. I'm like, what the? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Dude. That's funny. That's a great oh round. God. I mean, there's so many things that had to go right in order for them to win that 2v3 scenario. It started with that kill from Dashy. If Dashy doesn't get that kill right there, there's no way that they win the round because they get pinched. There's no way they can watch both angles. And then the 2v2, Arsides, I do like that bait when he jumped across from those top barrels. Obviously, you're going to track him with your ADS. Simp just wasn't able to finish the kill behind him. They go up 5-4. This time around. Hear that? Letting them rip off four straight like they did in the game two. Dude, is this finished. the round where I put the guarantee on Abe and I don't get it? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. This is the round that me and almost get wall banged. Yo, Dill, you here? Uh, they're both weak. Bro, Matt can attest to that one. Dude, we were getting sprayed through the wall. They're both weak. I was like, wait, what the? I'm not going down yet. They're going to take another fight. Oh, God. I feel so guilty every time I let you die. 
Yeah, that's another scenario where Scum's playing inside a cube. He had both Simp and ABZ both weak. So if Envoy's able to slide out, he probably doesn't get the kill from the ARs that are looking over top. But if he's able to slide behind Tractor, get both of those kills, that's a round win. And this is actually, I'm super surprised that Atlanta didn't do that same strat again on their next offense. They played super passive. Middle of the map opened up. Envoy was able to turn the tides. But they've been successful just pushing A, bullying out Cube with Scump over there. Why not do it again? They switch it up and it doesn't work out. I didn't think he was gonna insta go for it. I thought he was gonna play the kill for a couple secs and then and then go for it. I was telling it. you to sprint at it. Dude. I yeah, because there was like, like had to, or else he just loses. There was like eight like, seconds left, so he yeah, like had time. You made him weak for the back him, though. That was he wouldn't like, have had time to plant. I mean, yeah, but what if he turns around L and you go to peak and boom, he rips you? And... No, no. What if? Because you were coming for mid, weren't you? Yeah. No, I was. I told you to get the check. I hit the card. Oh, you hit? Yeah, I was playing on the truck the whole time. Oh, we. No, but then I hit him for you. Three, five, five. I get him one shot. <laughs> yeah, whoever shot him after he planted before he got well, away, that, that was a clutch. A, an opening. Well, yeah, I, I hit him like twice, and then you hit him. Here, Sky's in the chat it's there. Blue, I think. Yeah, I was holding it the whole yeah, round. Almost killed us all. Oh, right here was the guarantee, dude. Look, watch. I mean, this is a one and done spot. I was like, I'm just gonna catch someone sprinting across. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? My bullets felt so weird right there. It felt so weird. You have committed Piper, yeah, unbelievable. This is the difference. They, they find three and here you go. Envoy goes through mid. He's able to get the opening kill. Oh, I think the stream got hit with an ad right now. I think uh, everyone's a little bit <laughs> upset about that. We'll watch that back for everyone that got an ad. My bad. Go back. So, yeah, as he's explaining this and we get caught back up, of course, there's something going on with the ads. But... As Formal was stuck, basically almost in the same spot that Dash is in right now, when he runs back, Simp was actually top brown looking over that lane that he runs back to. If Simp doesn't move, that's probably an easy two-piece that very easily could have put Atlanta up in the round. So, unfortunate timing again for Atlanta, but as they press play, I'm sure we'll get there in a moment, you can see that Envoy hits right through mid-map. They're able to get two down, and then once you're in that scenario and you know that you have both sides of that bomb site pushed out, really tough to come back from that. Almost gets godlike timing. He just pinches it. Late pinches it. Thirty-five seconds to go. Here it comes right here. So Simp runs away. Envoy's gonna hit mid. Formal also gets the trade on Celium in the back. This is where it gets tense. Dylan doesn't know where they're at. I can't believe Simp didn't finish he this, by the way. That kill, which is huge. They don't get bombed down. That's huge. Oh, Who turned? Who fucking turned? Mm. See, he still has like, he still had like 10 seconds, you know, like he could have not been on it. But I get him weak as fuck. Like before he even gets off it. Yeah, your initial shots like one that. And at that point, I mean, once they get there, that's obviously easy to finish. But one other point that Formal was just talking about is that they were super lucky that Bomb didn't go down because even though Abizi was in a 1v2 against T2P, if he can only play time, he very easily could have backed off. He could have went back over towards their back spawn building. He could have played over towards mid courtyard. There's a ton of things he could have done if Bomb was down and he knew he could have just played the clock. But Envoy gets the kill on Arcides, and that's the end of the round, and that's the victory. So let me know if you guys enjoy this sort of stuff. Put your comments down below. I've never reacted to anything like this before ever on my channel, so let me know if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next upload.